Now, we will consider a Fibonacci sequence and solve the problem using recursion. So, see here, if you consider Fibonacci sequence or series, you will get result as like 0 is the first term, second term is 1, and the third term is 0 plus 1 equal to 1, and the fourth term is 1 plus 1 equal to 2, and the fifth term is 1 plus 2 equal to 3, and the next term is 2 plus 3 is 5, and the next term is 3 plus 5 is 8, and the next term is 5 plus 8 is equal to 13, and then 21, then uh, 34, and so on like this. These are the terms uh, that you will get in the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, and uh, you can observe here, uh, every time if you want to compute the next term that is obtained by some of the previous two terms. So this is a term T1 and this is term T2. Now this term called T3 can be obtained by sum of previous two terms T1 plus T2. And the next term can be obtained by adding the previous two terms. So, using functions uh, by concept of recursion, I can write this as uh, if I am trying to compute the nth term in the Fibonacci sequence, uh, nth term in the Fibonacci sequence, uh, that can be obtained by adding some of the previous two terms. Now, I am representing uh, nth term as t3. And this is nothing but sum of the previous two terms, T1 plus T2. So similarly, Fib of n is nothing but nth term. Now you can get the nth term by adding the previous two terms. The previous term here is n minus 1 term. And another term is uh, n minus 2. So this is how you can write mathematically using concept of uh, recurrence relations. Uh, uh, which can be implemented as recursion in programming. So Fib of n can be computed by adding Fib of n minus 1 and Fib of n minus 2. And the other conditions will be when n value, that is if you are referring to very first term, it should be 0. So this is considered as one base condition and another base condition is uh, if n is equal to 2, that is second term, you have to return 1. Okay, so let us uh, implement just Fibonacci sequence function recursively. So based on that formula, it is returning uh, an integer value because you are trying to obtain the nth term in the Fibonacci sequence uh, where you can pass n value, whatever you want. Okay, now in this uh, function, so the base condition will be First, uh, if you are referring to the very first term, n equal to 1, you have to return the first term as 0 because 0 is the first term in the Fibonacci sequence. Suppose if this condition is evaluated to false, uh, then we can write another condition n double equal to 2, which means uh, you are referring to the second term in the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, in this case, uh, it has to return 1. Suppose if these conditions are evaluated to false, it can move to the else block. So which means you are trying to clearly find out the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence where nth term is other than first term and second term. So where you have to return the sum of the previous two terms by recursively calling the same function. So Fib of n minus 1 plus Fib of n minus 2. So this can give you some of the previous two terms. Okay. So let's see how this will be computed here. First, uh, consider if I'm trying to compute uh, the Fib of 4. Okay. Fourth term I am trying to compute. So when we want to compute the fourth term, it can be written as uh, n double equal to 1 condition false, n double equal to 2 condition false. So it will go to the else block. Then it will ask you to compute first 
फिब ऑफ थ्री प्लस फिब ऑफ टू फिब ऑफ थ्री प्लस फिब ऑफ टू नाउ फिब ऑफ थ्री नीड्स टू बी कंप्यूटेड सो इन ऑर्डर टू कंप्यूट फिब ऑफ थ्री अगेन यू कैन ऑब्सर्व दिस पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन करस्पॉन्डिंग एक्सपेंशन विल बी फिब ऑफ थ्री माइनस वन विल बी टू प्लस फिब ऑफ थ्री माइनस टू विल बी वन फिब ऑफ वन and you can observe here what is uh, fib of 2 fib of 2 is nothing but when n value is 2 it has to return 1 so this will return value of 1 and fib of 1 when n value is 1 it has to return 0 so fib of 1 is going to return 0 and similarly fib of 2 fib of 2 will be returning 1 so finally when you compute this fib of 4 So this is nothing but uh, sum of fib of two plus uh, fib of one, which is nothing but one plus zero plus one. So this will give you one plus one value as two. So you can observe in the Fibonacci sequence, the very first term is zero, second term is one, third term is uh, zero plus one equal to one, and the fourth term is one plus one equal to two. So that is what we have obtained. Uh, fib of four value as two after computing here. using recursive function calling okay now let us uh, uh, basically implement this program by applying this concept of recursion here so i want to basically find out uh, a fibonacci term okay so that's why i'll write uh, fibonacci term is r e s and i'll call the respective function as uh, fib of n so which will return the result and store it in r e s variable and later we are displaying okay and if you want uh, exactly the term okay so you can also so second or like th like this you can write and here you have to mention n so basically nth fibonacci term is that will display like that now let us implement uh, fibonacci sequence uh, corresponding function and implement it recursively fib of int n now in this uh, fib function first we are checking whether n value is uh, 1 or not if suppose n value is 1 okay it must be returning uh, a value of 0 because the very first term in the fibonacci sequence is 0 and uh, coming to the second term n double equal to 2 so the second term is 1 and finally in the else block you are clearly computing the fibonacci sequence term for n okay that is the nth term in fibonacci sequence is computed where n is other than 1 2 okay so return fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 using this now let us uh, run this code and see the result enter any value i have entered value as 4 because i want fourth term in the fibonacci sequence and you will get the result as 2 okay so that is what uh, we have clearly discussed fibonacci term fourth term in the fibonacci sequence is 2 you can see here okay so this is how you can implement fibonacci sequence using recursion